It is that time again. Football weather is back. And there they are. Dynamic duo. Bert, Paul, take it away. Hey, Mark, thank you very much. Uh, Ideal conditions right now. The wind is not blowing, and the temperature is ready for uh, ready for football. Football. All right. Uh, speaking of football, speaking of sports, no one uh, better known in our part of the world than uh, the guy sitting to Bert's left. Uh, now heard on 97.3, the fan, Mr. John Katera, better known as the coach. Coach, can you feel it? Uh, I can feel it. You know what? It's nice. I was telling someone I walked in tonight, it's not 93 degrees in August with humidity. We're actually here uh, sitting in late October, and we're talking about a nice chill in the air and a great night for football. Two of the better teams in San Diego really fired up about this. Coach, I went to a Catholic high school, and we always had the, the victory prayer. Lady of Victory, pray for us. Who's Lady Victory going to grace tonight with the win? <laughs> well, you know, I think when you take a look at this game, I mean, both these teams have played in big games. I mean, last year, Cathedral gets to the state championship. Uh, they beat Torrey Pines in the Open Division title. You got St. Augustine, who ended up beating Helix in that uh, Division One. So both these teams are uh, used to championship games. I think right now, where the two teams are at, I would have to favor Cathedral for a variety of reasons. I think when you take a look at that offensive line, uh, and I know you probably talked about it, Paul, Paul Logan Bergeson, he's going to Stanford. Uh, Stanford. But, you know, they've got four of their five guys back from a year ago. And that line, I think, is awful good. I think that will be something that I watch tonight in our broadcast because they uh, St. Augustine runs that 3-3-5, you know, that uh, defense that Rocky Long yeah. Yeah. likes to run. And they got guys coming from all angles. I think it'll be interesting to see how this veteran offensive line holds up against that. And then on the other side, kind of anxious to see how Joe Kramer uses his two quarterbacks, Angelo Peraza and Rich. Culminero. Uh, we have some video. I believe this is from last year's tailgate party, but the scene that's going on in the parking lot right now, if, if you didn't get here early enough, you couldn't get through the crowd with the luau going on and, and the dancing and all the stuff that's going on in the St. Augustine side. We, were, we didn't even make it over to the cathedral side. And you're yelling. You're so loud here. You have to yell <laughs> actually hear it. Uh, that speaks to the festive occasion of what this is all about, right? Well, that was only at 4.30 this afternoon, okay? <laughs> hey, you know what? I, have, I had about a $15 Uber ride to get in here from where I parked, but you know what? This is what football's all about. I think that's what you and I and Bert and all the fans that love to come out on every Friday night. Even though we don't have kids playing, this is what it's all about. You, you were a great high school football player. Paul played. I played. I mean, this is why we did it for games like this. Wait, uh, I coach, was a great uh, player and you played. You got the difference, yes, right? Yes, all right, just yes. Second. Uh, coach, uh, thank you very much for uh, Actually, coaches, I know you've got to get to your booth and you have to hang around for the last segment. Right now, just a quick reminder, the party actually really started in the wee hours of the morning at San Pasquale High School for the alarm clock pep rally. Let's rally with Allie. The key to us winning this game is the belief that we have in each other, belief that we have in every single one of, this, every single one of these people here, and the belief that we're going to run through another man's face tonight, baby. Yeah, baby! Yeah. 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 All right. I've got the helmet. You got the sticker. Put the sticker on the helmet! Just a quick reminder, the party starts there, and it doesn't end until we hit a viewing party. Uh, later tonight, I have no idea where John Duran's going to be, uh, but if uh, St. Augusta wins, I know where he's going to be. So uh, John Duran will be roaming the county side looking for a viewing party. Uh, there's only about 80 of them going on tonight. Just a quick reminder, if you want us to uh, go to your viewing party, you got to let us know where you're going to be. If there's more than 10 people and two TVs, we'll show up. All right, we'll be right back with the Rattler after these short but important commercial words. Wow, she'll be so cool. I don't know how she does it. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's PPR. Party. 